One of the biggest problems I see in the fire service or just men in general is that we try to work too much to provide a good lifestyle for our family and a lot of security and we end up getting divorced or split up um, after all that effort and you have to really shake up what you're trying to do and then move things around to make your family more happy so ultimately at some point your family will be really happy with you um, and then as things shift around they'll get very unhappy and a lot of times that's because you're working too much so as firefighters we all have part-time jobs sometimes we'll work 48 hours on 24 hours off for half the year or for years on time and just because you're making money and everyone has clothes and food and you're able to vacation some doesn't mean they're happy um, try to stick to a normal 40 hour work week and budget where you can to make up for those losses in income um, and if you're not doing things that your wife mentions that's a problem like if she's like hey I saw this cool place I'd really like to check out or hey there's this new park me and the kids might want to go to well they're telling you they want to go there and even if they're hinting around at it you need to anticipate what they say write it down and then make plans on your own to make those things happen it'll make them very happy and uh if they start mentioning things that make them unhappy about what you're doing you need to incorporate those into your lifestyle so if they mention hey you're on call of duty too much that annoys me that as soon as I go to bed, you get out of bed to go play games all night. Like, everything in moderation. So sometimes gaming's not a, a, a bad part of a relationship, but sometimes it can get in the way. Or if you have like a weird friend that makes them or the children uneasy to be around, just there's plenty of friends to make. You know, you can always um, not let that person come to your house anymore or whatever. Or if you have uh, a friend of the opposite sex that makes them uncomfortable, I'm all about like keeping friends of all, all genders, but sometimes you can sacrifice one person to make your partner happy if they just give them a weird vibe or, you know, you have weird history or whatever. Um, cause I know from my, uh, time doing costuming and LARPing and stuff, I've had people volunteer for me that made my ex-wife very unhappy. And I was like, well, they're helping me make stuff. And that really hurt them. It's like you get all these micro, um, interactions that hurt your partner and the more times you let them down or don't listen to them the slowly the more that they separate themselves from you and then you end up you know 10 15 years into your your marriage and they have completely fallen out of love with you because your focus was somewhere else um and one thing that is good like nobody wants to date a loser so like make sure that your only friend group isn't your family and that you're actively pursuing a hobby that you enjoy at least once a week. Whether you're going to go play pickleball with the friends or you're working in your workshop on something that makes you happy like uh, woodworking or you're making miniatures, whatever. That uh, a person of passion is very attractive. So, and sometimes men's hobby only hobbies video games. And a lot of times that doesn't get lumped into a positive net win for your partner so check that out and let me know if you have any questions i'm always happy to to uh help with folks relationships and stuff and see y'all